Checking the comments again. Eric's getting fat. Eric's blowing up. Eric's bloated. I'm getting fat. <laughs> and then I remembered. I don't have any fucks left to give anymore. Crazy. Have I told you guys how much I love toast, by the way? Another morning of checking YouTube comments. Is he bulking? He looks like he gained some weight. Bloated much? Getting fat? All right, guys, so I'm gonna rant for a little bit here, so hopefully, uh, yeah, this all makes sense. There are a lot of things that come to mind for me, especially being somebody that has been in a constant state of gaining strength, losing strength, gaining fat, losing fat. I mean, guys, shit happens, but here's what's really gonna matter for you. Gaining fat and getting fat are two very, very, very different things. A lot of beginners, and I mean a lot of beginners, starts out in the gym and wants to gain as much muscle mass as possible and wants to lose body fat. Let's start developing some realistic expectations because it's more than likely not gonna happen. Granted, it can happen, but let's just be realistic here. One of the biggest reasons why a lot of beginners make zero progress in the gym is because they get so fixated on keeping their abs, keeping their precious striations, and keeping every single vein that they have on their body. Let's just be real here. If you want to get stronger and you want to gain some size, you need to be okay with gaining body fat. It's pretty easy to lose body fat. All it really takes is eating less and moving more, and I'm certainly able to do that. Well, it's about that time for me to kind of flash over to a clip of me eating food before I go to the gym like usual. Right about now. Oh, wait, you guys have never seen this before. Have I told you guys how much I love toast, by the way? I'm itchy everywhere. Two, eight, five, four, three, four, three cents. It's crazy to be progressing like I am. I mean, I, I have to be completely honest, guys. I was really 
kind of pissed off after my deadlifts yesterday. Crazy how you can go from having a really poor gym session to a really good one. <laughs> It's very, very, very important for me right now. I'm at a point where I've been before and I've had times like this where I just don't hit numbers that I wanna hit. And uh, yesterday was a perfect example of that. I go into the gym really amped up, really motivated to deadlift or squat or bench and I just don't hit what I wanna hit. And then I just get super down on myself. And uh, yesterday again was one of those days, but today was a completely different day. It just really goes to show guys, if I want something badly enough, I will get it. It's where I really love this type of environment. I love just challenging myself and I love hitting points where um, I, like I said, I've been there before, but uh, right now I, you know, just to be able to get physically stronger again is something that's very motivating for me. Now I'm also at a point with my lifts that I really need to wash my form. I actually haven't felt this good with squats in a long time, keeping my chest upright and also making sure that I'm not leaning forward too much. Granted, I actually did have uh, a bit of a little mishap on my second set at 285. The bar was lopsided for uh, like two of the sets and it was kind of starting to fuck with me a little bit. In the actual second set, I actually hit the pin on the squat rack. So yeah, just got to watch little things like that. But other than that, I'm happy with the way things went. And of course, I'm hungry and have to go to the store. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I have no snare in my headphones. I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. And already, folks, in this bag right here, I had to get some Brussels sprouts, more Brussels sprouts, more Brussels sprouts, and frozen veggies because I haven't gotten the stir fry veggies in a while. So I decided to get those. And then chicken was on sale again. So I meant to buy the breasts, but I got the half breast this time. Either way, I'm happy with my breasts. <laughs> honey Nut Cheerios were on sale, and you guys know these are a classic, and I love my Honey Nut Cheerios, so I decided to go with some of those, and then the usual suspects, Diet A&W Root Beer, and Cashew Milk, and I'm probably going to be making a pizza tonight, so pizza sauce, as always. Uh, strawberries, frozen. And then I got some Oriental Trail Mix. I used to get this all the time. And then I had to get some pears right there. We had to get another container of oatmeal because I've been eating oatmeal like crazy. Guess what was 59 cents? Yes, more bread. Bread, 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 bread. Love my bread. And then I saw, I usually get the other, I guess like, I don't, I don't even know what style it is, type of imitation crab, but I got this, they're like chunks tonight. Uh, rice cakes, and then I had to get some more baking cocoa right here. You guys know I absolutely hate this stuff. Never ever use it, so I got some of that. And then peanut butter. It was already conveniently stored upside down for me, so went and got that. Lettuce, lechuga, strawberries, and then I thought I would try out a new condiment. This is the mandarin teriyaki sauce from Panda Express. They have the orange sauce and then there's another like sweet chili sauce and I was not about to fuck with the sweet chili sauce or the orange sauce so I decided to get some teriyaki sauce. And it was $4.50 so yeah. Sugar free syrup like usual. And then that wants to follow me. Unsweetened vanilla almond breeze. And then last but not least, some yogurt. Guys, I am practically dead right now, so I'm gonna go pass out. Moments later. It's live stream time. Speaking of insane, we're doing the next stream right now. So say what's up everybody. Get in the lens. Would you get in here? Get in this, get in this lens. It did get a little burned, but oh well. You still really can't go wrong with uh, a poor excuse for pizza. It still tastes bomb. So I just want to give a big shout out to the best South Park episode ever. Make love, not Warcraft. Uber. Uber, Uber ponage. The next day.
here we are again with some oatmeal. Back at it. I finally broke 40 miles, like the first time in a few months. Winning. Well, I'm still alive. I lasted a little over two hours on the bike today. 40 miles later, I can say that I actually still ride. Yeah, it was actually pretty fun out there. Went pretty well. I did find that I got a uh, package or two in the mail, so we're gonna unbox them right now. So I already know what the first one's gonna be. I needed to get a new tripod, and this one actually works really, really well. I've had it in the past, but I broke it. So we got on the Manfrotto XL game. Hell yeah. Everyone, I have talked about him many, many times, and I just have to let you guys know that he is still the man and always will be the man. My boy, Mr. Nick Dompier, sent me over some more lifted apparel. Now, uh, I'm gonna unbox this and everything, and I've already told you guys to go check out his channel, but I really can't tell you guys enough to go check out his channel. The cool thing about Nick, I've said it enough, he's a pro skateboarder, he's a power lifter and everything. He's a very unique guy because he takes time out of his day to offer free information for people, very informative information for people. He's doing a new uh, Back to Shredded series. He bulked up, got super, super strong, and he's still gonna be strong, but he's just doing a little cut right now. So guys, go over to his channel. He's got a lot of awesome fat loss tips and just a lot of great informative content. And also, if you are gonna get Lift Fit Apparel, use his code NickDLiftFit. I'm gonna link it right here and down below in the bio as well. So go check him out and use his code. Now let's see what we got. Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh, damn, we got the new water bottles. It's actually, it's pretty sweet. So it says Live Fit on there. Now, typically I drink a little bit more water than, I think this is like a 24 ounce. And then we have, you got two water bottles? Oh, we got black. That's tight. And then after that, we got, ooh, I think these are the new shorts. The Prestige sweat shorts. I could actually, I did need a new pair of these. Oh, and the good shirt. <laughs> Hell yeah. One of the cool things I like about Lift Fit stuff, I mean, I wouldn't wear them if the actual fabric wasn't comfortable. And guys, the fabric on this is just absolutely amazing. But last but not least, because I needed one, technically you don't need hats unless you live in a very sunny area, but I live in San Diego. Snapback time. Boom. Well guys, that's been the, uh, Unboxing for this video. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so uh, we forgot the battery for Big boy camera today, so we are going to be Using the iPhone camera Burnt it again, damn it. Good thing I have more vegetables. I hate when I do that. Moments later. They've always been a favorite of mine. I feel like I have so many favorites when it comes down to cereal. Just because it does get asked in the comment section of every video, I feel like I should uh, touch upon a few of them. Obviously, Honey Nut Cheerios. Frosted Mini Wheats, when I need to get more fiber, which is pretty much never. I do miss Frosted Mini Wheats. Honey Bunches of Oats, AKA Honey Bunches of Goat. And last but not least, at least for right now, while I have so many, Honeycomb. And then I remembered, you know what? I haven't had waffles in a long ass time. We gotta change that. A few moments later.
We can't forget the whipped cream. Waffles, waffles, and more waffles. Talk about a waffle taco. New challenge idea? I think we may be onto something. Delicious, a little messy, but still nutritious. Well, everybody, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch the video. I have two more weeks in this apartment and then I am out of here. What I want you guys to do is leave a comment down below. What do you guys want to see? What is the final challenge you guys want to see me do in my glorious apartment? After that, I am going to be moving all my stuff into a little pod and then taking a uh, nice little journey. I got to admit, it was pretty cool to just do something normal and make a like, full on talking video. I'm not used to just getting on my camera and talking to my camera on this channel at least. So that was pretty cool. I know a lot of people weren't used to it and it doesn't get a shit ton of views, but it really guys, it's not really something I care about too much. This is all something I do for fun and uh, something I just do for enjoyment and to hopefully get the word out for others. The gym and training has been going as best as it could be. I mean, I had a little setback this week when I deadlifted, but I made up for it the next day with the PR on my squats, so I'm stoked about that. And guys, again, as I've, I've said in this video, it's just, I, I don't really care about uh, this whole notion of dirty bulking and getting fat. I mean, guys, I know how to lose body fat and lose weight and gain weight and gain muscle. All it really takes for me is limiting my cardio. That's pretty much it. If you guys haven't already, check me out on Patreon. It's a great way for you guys to support us YouTube creators that take time out of their day to make videos. Follow me on social media if you haven't already. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, everybody. And 